message after the time. When you have finished recording, you may hang up or press one for more options. Oh, Vicky, how are you, old mate? It's Rich McLean. I'm sure you've heard a few things on the grapevine about me, but I really hope you can ring me back today. I need your help, and, um, yeah, I'm on 0409, um, 8, uh, what is it? 847076. Okay, thanks, Vic. I hope to speak to you soon. Have you well, Dale. See ya. Hung ho, hung hurry into door to others. <coughs>
Oh, hey, man. It's a blast from the past. Rich McLean. I'm, at, I'm from Kingston um, uh, the um, Art Centre there. We met you years ago. I had a couple of beers with you. And, you know, if you can give us an urgent call back, um, I've got to ask you a, a little favour. 0409847076. Hope you remember me, mate. Thanks, mate. Take it easy, boy. Oh, hello, Ron. Yes. Well, this is a blast from the past. It's Rich McLean. Oh, Rich, I, don't know, I don't know if you remember me. Yeah, of course I do. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Um, look, um, I, um, I'm ringing kind of random people from the phone because um, oh, people I know who are in positions of authority and may, I never assume someone's prosperity, but um, there's a situation I'm in which I'm, I don't know if you're across. I did email you, but I didn't hear back from you. Did you get the email? Oh, I, no, I'm swamped with emails. I've been so busy. Many, I just, I, they're sitting there probably still. Okay. I'll be very quick and try not to waste your time. Yep. I'm on the run from the police. Yep. And um, they've, I've been framed, character assassinated. Um, my former partner is an ASIO employee and owes me half a million dollars. He's, he's used his pulling powers to attack me via proxy um, with government agencies. So basically, it's a bit of a long story, but I, I've been oppressed for so many years. My justice wasn't acknowledged and they called me mad, locked me up in a hospital. I'd proved beyond reasonable doubt no one cared. They filled me up with drugs and I committed suicide, but I lived. But it was... Um, kind of a, a fatal injury what the um, hospital results say that was a year ago and since yeah. then I've lived in abject poverty on um, they they knew I'd been on a pension before but the government put me on job seeker I was already on sick leave for um, being framed in two vocat cases I was a therapist for the NDIS and my work was rendered illegitimate now income assistant payout and AFCA have robbed me of about one to two million dollars and watched me struggle both before and after the suicide. So I've blown the whistle. Um, but now I um, have, there's a political um, game at stake where I'm a um, pawn to be exploited and killed or locked up. And, and that's in favor of me blowing the whistle on these. Um, I've reverse engineered uh, this conspiracy that's covering it up, you know. And so, currently I'm on the run. I'm in Mildura, and because um, uh, the, the the SWAT team came to the door, and I've had forward knowledge that once I'm incarcerated, I'm not insane. I'm maybe a bit forgetful now because of the injury, but um, um, I'm a sensitive person, you know that. But um, but anyway, um, I escaped, and um, I'm on the run. Um, I'm stuck. I've got no medication. I've got no um, food and I have got no petrol to get anywhere. Um, I know it's really odd to ring up out of the blue and ask for a financial bursary, but I'm, I, need, I need to stay away until I can get whistleblower status because I've been rejected that from um, ASIC, APRA, the Commonwealth Ombudsman, um, and I can't go to police, I'm banned, and I can't go um, to a lawyer. So... I'm cornered in every way. I, I want to um, blow the whistle on my website, um, uh, which I've done, and which they know about. They're just trying to quickly jail me before I can get the word out. Uh -huh. So, <laughs> how's that for a Sunday morning rant? Uh, so, cut to the chase in terms of where you think I might be of some assistance. Well, I never assume someone's prosperity. But you know me as a person, and I, I don't know if you know of my advocacy role for 25 years, but my heart's in a good place. I've been used and exploited and scapegoated, and I, I need medication and food and petrol to get to the next place. 
I don't know if you may be able to, um, I never assume someone's prosperity, but um, part with a couple of hundred dollars in order for me to get there. And, and, and framed by that, you can go to a website called killing.info, which has an extraordinary amount of evidence on it um, that proves this. Um, it's a conspiracy to pervert the course of justice is what it is. And if, if I win and I take the government to the federal circuit court, then all I want, I don't really want money. I just want freedom from persecution. I get death threats at the door, you know, and, and I haven't paid rent in four months. So I'm, I'm literally a, a, an outlaw. I need, um, and this, is, uh, this has been going on for a whole year since the suicide, which was covered up and I was victim blamed for, for wanting to die from being oppressed. <laughs> so... It's a, it's a tough story to swallow, you know? Um, uh, well, I'll, I'll maybe in a very limited position to offer you any financial assistance. Yeah. Um, but uh, I, I, do you feel confident enough to email me or you don't want to send any more emails? Yeah, I can email you. Um, I, I, I do have my business destroyed, again, after the hospitalisation by the web hosting company that hosted me. And all my emails and evidence are gone, but I've got another one up and running. That was an effort to kick me in the head while I'm down. But um, uh, I can email you. I'll just email you the simple website of um, killing.info. And um, uh, what I was hoping to do while I'm away, if you can't help financially, is to draw attention to it. So you could say something like, I could send you an email that I've written and that I've asked you for money and I'm suffering detriment. That's clearly evident on the website. And if you send it to every parliamentarian and I'll send you the CSV file, I'm away so I can't um, write them all down, but um, just to draw attention to it, because if it comes from me, I'm actually banned from police. Like I've actually been raped and basically conspired to be murdered and you know, I've been robbed from Africa a million dollars, another million dollars from Australian Human Rights Centre. It's a, it's a disaster. I need someone to listen, you know, but I can't do it because I'm, I'm character oh, assassinated. Listen, so, so, uh, send me an email, just briefly sort of out, you know, tell them what you've covered today and uh, include the website uh, address in it. Okay, great. I'll do that. Okay, mate. Thanks, bro. Right. Okay, I'll wait till I hear from it. Okay, cheers. Bye-bye. Bye. Bye.